it's Dustin here, the uh, pro picker, and I just uh, hit the goodwill prior to coming to this Salvation Army and did not find anything, unfortunately. So uh, this is where we will start off the video today. I just wanted to say uh, thank you guys very much for coming out and checking out my uh, last video. Um, second most views I've ever gotten. Uh, definitely the most I've gotten in a 24 hour period organically like that. That's crazy. Uh, really appreciate the support. Uh, please consider liking this video, uh, subscribing, and turning on the bell notifications for more thrift store and resale content. What's really nice about Sony products, um, as I uh, come up to this, is that they all have um, easy model numbers to type in and figure out what they're worth. Unfortunately, at 40 bucks and trying to ship all of that uh, would not be worth it for me. Um, I quickly uh, check what tags are in now because Monday is tag switch day, which often leads to some pretty good opportunities. Um, however, I'm not seeing too much new stuff on the uh, clothing rack. Um, unfortunately, that's the uh, newest, the new brand name clothing. Uh, do check out these Timberland uh, women's boots, and they wanted $19.99 for them, which is uh, just a little bit too much. I think you get about 40 shipped for them, so by the time you ship them and everything and hold on to them, because it's going to take a little bit to sell, um, it just didn't really seem worth it to me. So um, I decided to go head over to the electronic section. Um, and uh, check out what's hanging over here. And the first thing that I spot immediately is this converter box. Uh, it doesn't sell for a ton of money, but they only want three bucks and it'll sell for about $25 shipped, which is great for me because um, I know it's gonna sell. The sell through on these are, are always really quick. I have no problem moving converter boxes. Um, looking around some more of what's hanging here. And I spot this weather radio. Weather radios are another thing that I do excellent with. So it is $5.99, but this particular model is actually quite expensive. It goes for $49 used on eBay shipped right now. So plenty of room for profit. I do check out, they have two packs of these um, walkie talkie style uh, little radios here with the chargers. And they want $19.99 a piece. Um, they're by Cobra. This is something that kind of almost fooled me. I looked it up and they're only going for $29.99 shipped. So I do put those back. Um, but over here, I do find some other things to look at. Um, these are some Plantronics headsets, but they're really old and kind of dated and um, not in a throwback good kind of way. So I do pass on those. I do see um, this really cool uh, police scanner and um, I'll say uh, I was pretty tempted because it's cool, it's vintage, but the Bearcat 3 by Electra oh, so just doesn't go for much money and it was missing its power cord, so it's not even worth what I threw up on the screen um, for a comp. The uh, Canon printer here is something I've been looking at for quite some time. It's finally went on tag, so it's half off. Um, and then I do see this neat desk. Now, I can't remember exactly what they were charging, but um, when I opened it up, I kind of decided against getting the neat desk because it was a little bit dirty in there and I didn't know if it would work. This Canon printer can be valuable, like 125 plus shipping, but I'm a little suspect that it's missing the power cord, even though it is one I could order. I, I just don't know if I want to gamble $20. This is an as-is thrift store. Um, and uh, I just kind of went with my gut on both of those things. Maybe I should have picked up the neat desk, maybe not. The comps are also very much all over the place. Um, and you'll see I pick up this Dayton Dragons. They're a minor league team in the area. Bobblehead. Haven't really done anything with the minor league bobbleheads, but always pick up uh, MLB bobbleheads when I see them. I do see this pro form elliptical. And uh, just kind of with everything that's going on lately, um, I've been wanting to uh, maybe get a piece of workout equipment. Um, cardio wise uh back in the house um uh, and yeah kind of tempted uh but i end up passing because i really have nowhere to put it right now i see these resurrection eggs and they actually there's one listed for like 17 bucks however it just uh kind of a 
kind of hard to want to get it without any swords, even though I know that, you know, Easter is coming up. Not too long, at least. Uh, but So I end up passing. Uh, the Crayola banners here are pretty cool, but they want $1.99 each for them, uh, which are actually only $0.99 cents with half off day. However, uh, none of them were going for above $10, so I do pass. I do see this Monstar figure. I end up grabbing him. Uh, should sell for about $23, bucks. $24, uh, getting it for $2.50 because of the half off tag. These Star Trek to Wrath of Khan, like, they're like cards, but just big photos. Uh, I look up and I don't see any that really seem that valuable. Um, with Trek, it's kind of all over the place, and that's something that, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass on at $9.99, even though I'm a bit of a Trekkie myself, mainly 90s. So I do end up running to the pawn shop real quick in between thrift stores just to see what they have available. Um, I didn't very heavily look into what this golf club set looked like, uh, just kind of glancing at some things as I enter. Um, not too much new in the... Um, the fancy display case part when it comes to gaming. I do see a, a DS there. I couldn't really tell what kind of DS that was. Feel free to comment below if you know. Um, right there. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Not the best footage to uh, make that determination. Uh, so yeah, just kind of checking out what's available. Um, my main reason here is to check out the video games. So they got hit pretty hard during the uh, Christmas season Q4. Um, not much has changed in the way of what's available for the PS4, PS3, actually not too much, or PS, or in X Xbox One and all of that. Not too much has changed on this rack at all um, recently. I make a point of checking this place out maybe every week or two. I feel like if I go much more than that, I'm just kind of competing against myself. Uh, the My Sims Kingdom here is two dollars. I'll get eleven ship for it. I'll make like three or four dollars in profit, but it'll sell. I've sold it before. Um, I do notice that the 3DS games have changed up some, and uh, he just lets me uh, go there and grab them real quick to uh, take a look. And uh, I do see a Pokemon Sun uh, or Pokemon Ultra Sun. So uh, that's worth about 28 bucks or so. Um, the Dark Moon I pass on because um, at $5 a piece, I really uh, can't make any money there. Um, however, it is half off day at the American Thrift. So uh, they actually had so many people. Uh, it's MLK day, half off day. A lot of people were off that they had no carts. So I ended up having to grab a basket initially. Um, I don't think, uh, like, actually when it comes to, like, the half-off day, um, typically, like, if I know there's a lot of things I'm interested in, I'll try and be here super early, but there really hadn't been the uh, past few times I've been in the thrift, so, um, I just kind of casually made it over here today. Um, that joystick, not really, um, something that's, uh, I think it'd be super valuable, so I do pass on that. Um, just kind of looking around, seeing what's available. Not huge on getting the Xbox 360 connects. I'll always buy the Xbox One connects if they are the right price. Um, that Dell mouse has been there for quite some time. Uh, hopefully, somebody actually buys it um, at 75 cents. Hey. Um, three dollars for this i know i just bought one in the last video but this doesn't have the controller box or any games included so uh would not buy that if three dollars um end up passing they even have the older version of the v smile over there um i do see that they have a telescope in uh unfortunately that model of model is not really worth too much and finally i upgrade to um having a cart kind of taking a little bit of uh, a casual look around at uh, the better clothing section here real quick and then start moving into um, their footwear. So yeah, I see some Nikes and they are kind of like throwback, at least like 2012, stuff like that. But the condition and uh, just looked them up and they really weren't worth that much. So I kind of go back here into my sneaker spot, which is the men's boots and at half off, they already priced pretty low, but at half off, it opens up a lot of opportunities uh, for me to kind of make a couple buys here. Um, so I do see these lacrosse boots, and I think they'll go for around that 45, 50 ish shipped range. And I think I'm going to get the same for these diehard boots. 
um, popped up some comps. Uh, they're similar comps, and um, you know, I think it, it shouldn't be that hard to ship them out either. Uh, maybe have to modify a shoebox or something. I also grab these canon inks here or one canon ink uh sells for about 20 bucks uh on ebay for 45 cents and uh, that is my final pickup at this thrift store um end up going back to that goodwill that i said initially didn't have anything to see if any of the restock carts are out and as i turn the corner i find out that there indeed is a restock cart for me so I decide to go ahead and pick through it. Um, initially, I see these cassette tapes. I don't know. Do you guys see anything here that you m might be valuable? I see a Tim McGraw, but I mean, he has sold a lot of albums on cassette, CD. Uh, so, I mean, you see it. You, you see him quite a bit. I just don't know if there's any value there. Um, this plate is... Uh, by Pier 1 Imports, so nothing that's like crazy rare or valuable. Um, just kind of looking around on the cart to see what I can find. Um, nothing really crazy on the VHS side here. And I see on the board game section that they're all opened, nothing super cool so I kind of pass on like really investigating that um, I do find this uh, Circulon uh, Dutch oven and it should go for about 40 45 bucks shipped now uh, thankfully the uh, cost of goods sold will be really cheap because it was only $2.99 and that's all I end up picking up at this Goodwill sometimes you just got to grind it out when you're out there picking uh, thank you guys very much for watching please like subscribe turn on the bell notifications leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.